Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be filming a slightly different video to usual. It just follows a lot of questions that I have got over the past year about the clothes that I wear, and so I thought I would film a video running through some like outfit ideas and my wardrobe essentials. One thing to be so mindful of going into this video though is that when I say essentials, it does not mean that these items are essential for curating any kind of style, and also they're very specific to me, so these are items that I feel most comfortable in, fabrics that I feel most comfortable in, uh, styles I feel most comfortable in, and they are going to differ so, so much from person to person. I was slightly hesitant to make this video just because I don't want it to become me promoting, like, going out and buying a whole new wardrobe. The whole notion of like going out and buying your dream wardrobe is very problematic and it's better to buy things over a longer period of time and find items like kind of here and there which you absolutely love as opposed to like looking for the item, waiting to find the item if that makes sense. I wouldn't say there's like a specific tag word to my style. I'd kind of vaguely call it like dark academia and that is a style that I kind of gravitated towards for a long time like since I was about 12 I've been really I've loved like blazers and shirts and ties and things like that I'll be showing you my favorite items of clothing and then curating a load of outfits using those and giving some outfit ideas showing what I wear in a week at university for example yes I hope that you enjoy watching so let's start with my outfit essentials they're all basic items which hopefully you will have some form of in your wardrobe already Okay, so first we're going to go through some top essentials. Turtlenecks are something I wear quite often. They're really warm, great for layering, and I particularly love my navy one. I've also got this camel colored one, which is very good for autumn and goes with the overall color palette of my wardrobe. Merino wool v-neck jumpers. This is a brown one, which used to be my dad's. Some kind of knit top with a collar. Very good for layering underneath cardigans and jumpers. You could also go for a plain long sleeve shirt. I used to wear my one a lot in sixth form, but I tend to go for the knit one much more often. A plain black long sleeve t-shirt. Some kind of smart dark colored blouse. This is good for if you're going out in the evening. A thin merino wool style cardigan in a dark color again. My favorite kind of fabric to wear is merino wool or merino wool style, and this jumper is the same. I love jumpers like this, which are a little bit of a statement. I think a very good staple for your wardrobe is having like one statement collar item because you can pair it with so many different things and it will add a fun flair to whatever you end up wearing. This shirt, which I wear a lot, it's again more of a statement item and a little bit more unique. I like the collar on this one in particular. And this is my favorite favorite top at the moment. It is from Aesthetica London and it's handmade, super sustainable. It's got a very cool sailor collar on the back. I think having some kind of short sleeve blouse is very nice. Not so useful in the winter, but in the summer, very much so. I also have this white boat neck jumper. And then finally, I have this brown knitted cardigan. This is probably my favorite item of clothing in my wardrobe. A neutral, warm knitted cardigan is so, so great for the winter. A dark colored skirt is very useful. This one I wear probably four times a week, this beige check check skirt, which is more of a pencil skirt, and also some dark culotte trousers. These are kind of my trouser staples. If other people have jeans, I have these. I also have these light colored culotte trousers. These are linen. These definitely do crease very, very easily, but they're a very good staple for the summer. Now on to jackets and dresses. Also a blazer. Of course, I love this corduroy one. I got this on eBay eight years ago and it's still in really good condition. I just like having a standard blazer that you can put on top of pretty much anything. Also this jacket, which is tweed and I just love the style of it so much. It's so easy to throw on top of anything. And then finally, just one staple dress I would say is like a black warm dress. So this one comes beneath my knee, it's from Poetry and um, you can just pair it with loads of different things and it's very warm for the colder months. So now on to extras and like accessories, I suppose. So the first thing is my watch. I wear this watch every single day. I've worn it since 2016. It's just very practical. Also my brown Doc Martens. I wear these most days. I just love them so much. They're so comfortable and I love the way they look. Also a neck scarf. I like to use this as a tie. You can use it to add a little flair to any kind of plain top or jumper. A detachable shirt collar as well can do the same thing. If you're gonna take one thing away from this video, it's that rain hats are 
very useful. I wear my one all the time. And then finally, a warm scarf, which is going to keep you warm. Um, I love this massive checked one. So all of the items I've shown you are essentially of the same style and color palette, which means that you can mix and match items and create outfits without really thinking about it too much. Over the last few years, I've kind of grown to realize what colors I actually enjoy wearing. And I love that all of these colors pretty much go together now. So I can layer pretty much anything and it's going to go. A dark turtleneck and a dark skirt is probably my staple outfit. This is the one I go for the most often. And then you can just play around with it a little bit and add other elements. So for example, I added the corduroy blazer, but you could also add scarves, coats, you could add jumpers. You know, there's so much you can do with it. And it's also a really warm choice. I also love pairing the detachable shirt collar with any of my tops. Thin cardigans in particular are really nice. Again, this looks really smart, but it's less bulky than having a shirt. And it means that when you wear coats and things, for example, it doesn't interfere with the shape so much. I also love adding a pinafore over anything. If you have a good pinafore, you can literally just put it over any jumper, any top, any shirt, and you instantly get a new outfit and you get an extra layer, which keeps you a little bit warmer. And again, I just added the blazer. I think blazers are such a fun thing to add. Another main outfit idea is just adding any of your statement items underneath a pinafore. Really, really easy. And with the statement shirt, you can see that I just added a ribbon as well. I just really like adding ribbons to shirts. So then you can see I just did the same thing but with the statement jumper. So I really like wearing light colors, like light browns, beiges, etc. but black is also a very good choice because one thing that I always find when I wear light colored clothes is that they crease really easily. When you're wearing darker colors, you can't really tell. It usually ends up looking smarter. One of my favorite outfits is this one. These black trousers honestly go with anything. I'm a big fan of culotte trousers. They're really smart, they're comfortable. Uh, jeans just don't really suit me and I don't really like the style of them so I just don't own jeans. When it comes to fashion I really think it's important to kind of know what suits you, know what you like, know what you feel comfortable in. I don't feel comfortable in jeans so there's no point me investing in a pair and wearing them because I know that I'm not going to feel my best in them. I also have these light coloured culotte trousers, these are linen, these definitely do crease very very easily but they're a very good staple for the summer. I really like the look of like loose trousers or a long maxi skirt with a long jumper over the top. Kind of like a dropped waist style, I suppose. So I just added the brown v-neck jumper here on top of the shirt. And I also tried adding a knitted cardigan. This brown knitted one is my absolute favorite one. This time you can see with the shirt, I did tuck it in just to show you what it looks like high waisted. And the really cool thing is I think when you have it untucked, it's like a different outfit altogether from having it tucked in. Again, I'm a big fan of something more monochrome. So I like dressing all in dark colors or all in lighter colors. And these culottes literally go with any top in my wardrobe. I would say that I wear this navy skirt like four times a week. Uh, you'll see it when I show you the outfits I wore this week at university. This is good to just pair with the black long sleeve top, which goes with pretty much anything. And I also like to add a scarf of some kind because otherwise it's a little bit too plain, a little bit too boring. So just adding some kind of scarf adds something a little bit more fun, I think. I also have this string of pearls, which I think goes with a lot of things. You, and you will have a lot of these items, I think, in your wardrobe already, like a dark colored top, a light colored top, something with a collar, a smart evening top, a dark colored skirt. You know, all of these are quite simple, quote unquote, basic items. If you just identify those, identify items in your wardrobe, which are of a similar color palette, you can play around with them so much.
So I thought it'd be fun to add on to this video what I wore this week at university just to kind of give you a sense of how much I reuse outfits. There are definitely outfits that I wear on repeat and I think that's a really really important thing to normalise because I mean ultimately if you find an outfit that you feel really comfortable in, you feel confident in, you really like the pieces, why wouldn't you wear it on repeat? We need to step away from this idea that we always have to wear something different. Okay so let's start on Monday. So I've got classes on Monday. I'm wearing the black long sleeve t-shirt with some trousers. I wear trousers on Mondays usually because I cycled canvas so it makes sense to wear trousers and then I'm also adding my black Doc Martens and I really like to wear fun socks. B socks. I'm going to add the scarf just because otherwise it's a little bit boring. I'm also going to add my black coat. Then finally I've got this blackberry. Everything in this outfit is black apart from the tie. That's Monday and now I will show you Tuesday. So here is Tuesday's outfit. I have got the Aesthetic London um, sailor neck top with my brown v-neck jumper. Also my favourite navy skirt. I went into town this day, I just walked into town to meet for a study group and then stayed in town and did some work. But really like even if I'm not doing anything, I like to wear something smart. I like to wear something that I feel comfortable in because I've said this before but I think when you wear something nice, you are effectively telling yourself that the day is worth something and you're kind of like you're dressing up for yourself i think we need to normalize dressing up for yourself wear things because you feel comfortable in them wear things because you feel confident in them as opposed to because it's like the right thing to wear for that occasion letting ourselves just wear things are going to make us feel our best since i am walking into town i just added this jacket I also always wear this scarf, like every single outfit I will wear this week. And then finally, I've got my trusty brown Doc Martens. These are my favourite shoes and I do wear them most days. Oh, and I'm wearing very, very thick brown tights. Read the tights. I'm a big believer in investing in a good quality item of clothing, which you're going to have for a really long time as opposed to getting something which you're then going to throw away. And for some reason, that mindset just never applied to tights in my mind. So I'd buy like cheap tights because it felt like tights should be cheap, but then they get ladders in them and I'd have to throw them away. A few months ago I bought this pair of tights. I don't know why it took me so long to realise that it's a good idea to like invest in good tights. Also having nice warm thick woolen tights is I think very important if you get cold like I do. Anyway, I'm going to show you Wednesday. So I'm wearing the brown v-neck top, light check skirt and of course my Dr Martens. I'm just going to add the jacket and also a berry. I stayed in all of Thursday, so I didn't really have to worry about keeping warm or anything. I literally just wore this same statement top and the same navy skirt. Very, very simple. So here is Friday's. Um, I'm wearing the black trousers again because I came to campus and also the black statement jumper. Honestly, I love this jumper. Again, I would just add the black coat on top Next Saturday, I'm wearing this lovely beige turtleneck with one of my favourite items of clothing. I love this skirt so, so much. And because I'm going out the house, I obviously need to wear something warmer than just that. So I'm going to add this jumper. Oh, and again, of course, I'm wearing my brown Doc Martens. And then finally, Sunday. I love wearing something cosy on Sundays, and so I've got the same navy skirt with the knit polo shirt, which I showed, and also this sweatshirt from Joni. Joni does like literary inspired sweatshirts. I got this one like two and a half years ago, I think. I don't think they sell this one anymore, but they do have other ones, and I just love this so much. This is also the jumper I'll keep in my bag when I go to campus, so if I do get cold, I've got an extra layer with me. I just love pairing a sweatshirt with a collar. Okay. So to finish off this video, I just wanted to talk through some other bits related to fashion and like how I shop and things like that. So one question I get asked a lot is where do I get my clothes from? I buy my stuff secondhand. I try not to look for particular brands um, and instead will search on Depop or eBay for a specific item that I'm looking for. Like there are more garments than people in the world. This is how many garments are estimated to exist and that many items of clothing, you are going to be able to find the thing that you're looking for eventually. I like to buy timeless pieces that I genuinely like the style of as opposed to buying into trends, buying into things that are in fashion now. Like be aware of the things that you just enjoy wearing. For example, the fabrics you like. I really like wearing thin knit and merino wool style. 
style things and also like knitted jumpers and so I'm attentive to that when I'm shopping uh, like kind of what fabrics do you actually enjoy wearing and what kinds of styles do you keep on coming back to then one last thing is just making sure you take care of your clothes you want your clothes to last a long time so look after them I hand wash a lot of my clothes I do a cold wash in the washing machine a company called care sent me some of their laundry detergents. I just really love the ethos of this brand, which is why I wanted to mention them. It's all about just making sure that you don't damage your clothes, which is how the formula has been developed. Anyway, with that said, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit different to usual, but I hope that you have a productive week.